How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Adventure Quest video. I'm your host Corban Gaming and for today's video we will be looking at the latest release inside of Adventure Quest and I have no idea why I click on the travel map any all the time but anyways the first release I want to go through is the limited time shop items okay so uh, as you guys know May 4th is coming up real soon in fact it's in two days okay for me and May 4th is obviously Star Wars Day I am a huge Star Wars fan and that means you'll be getting a whole lot of Star Wars gear so let us look at the Star Wars gear that we have here the Star Spear and then we have the Mystic Star Saber and of course the Kaminari no Hoshitsurugi uh, not sure if I butchered that name but yeah so uh, all lightsaber star weapons and this one is actually new okay it costs tokens and uh, based off the uh, description here I think it does extra damage uh, every once in a while okay it's not a flat damage boost all the time but it deals uh, quite a lot of extra damage every once in a while if you get lucky and you can switch it between melee and magic mode um, this one may be worth it I don't think the info subs are out yet so this is the only weapon that I think could be worth getting depending on how much damage boost that you get when the uh, special occurs so until the damage boost is out I'll hold, uh, I'll hold off purchasing that but I do think that it could be a really good weapon okay in fact maybe probably the new best one who knows okay and we also got new faces the mariachi faces not a fan of these so I definitely won't be getting them so let's exit right here and then we also have rare item hunts uh, you have the Hans YOLO blaster and the Muki Twilly pet okay the blaster I think it's a returning item the Twilly pet I'm not exactly sure though but uh, both aren't really worth getting so you I would say you can pass that up and anyway those uh, these rare item hunts items are usually tokens only so it, unless you're a big spender I wouldn't recommend you guys to get them uh, usually they come with some <clears throat> fancy effect of sorts but they are not the best uh, items to get in the game in my opinion so I think you're better off spending your token somewhere else so I would uh, I won't be giving you guys uh, the location of the rare item hunts you guys can go ahead check out the forums check out the discord uh, if you really want to buy those items but I don't think any of them is worth getting so I'm not going to be showing that off and the main part of this week's video is the void dragon war okay and let's see here Ah, oh, finally I'd like to see her coming back from that good hunting. I don't know how the queen kept showing up again, but even the void can't bring you back from that kind of damage. I should hope so, with the dragon disappearances, Cyrus keeps pulling numbers to investigate, alliance forces are still spread thin. Either way, your little succession crisis is taking long enough to finish recovering from that a void dragon incursion could have caught us while distracted. You know you know I dealt with it as soon as I was able to end so and the rebuilding efforts are slowly are slow because of everything else that's been going on. I know kid, I don't blame you for anything that happened. I can't speak for anyone else, but I sure can't judge you. You might want to open up at some point though. I suppose I can't expect to be the only one who notices more than he lets on. You know it, look, a lot of us kept quiet on a lot of the bad and the ugly from before you came to battle on, and maybe that makes it hard to open up. But I know better than most what happens when you bother it all up while others are counting on you. So, wait, what's happening to the cops? Oh man, nothing good. That's what. Clear out, quick. And. Ooh. <clears throat> oh my gosh, whoa. They just mutate. We just got our answer, but this isn't the same as the queen that invaded last time. Have you ever seen anything like this? Not on my own hands. This is a completely new behavior. Then keep running. If the alliance is spread thin, we have to get word out and then keep the dragons distracted until reinforcements can get, can actually get here. But aren't they like inside the void unless they can make their way out of the void? Like, uh, I, I thought the dragons are sort of like stuck inside the void and not able to get out this sort of thing. But maybe they can escape. Who knows? I mean, I will just keep them there and leave them alone if they are not going to come out or whatever. Okay, that's the local guardians and my nearest chapter mobilized. If the knights help quickly enough, the Granamore area should hold for now. Messengers and magical correspondents will speed things up, but we can't just defend when the reinforcements arrive. I know, we need to start pushing back as soon as possible. Any leaks will go right into vulnerable areas. We're in trouble, but not completely flat-footed. We'll chase them back like we always have. That's not what I mean. Now that we've caught a breather, uh, let's think about what just happened. Fair enough, if they're acting different, we might as well figure out how it changes the game for us before we're already making a move. What makes this new behavior? New queens don't just magically show up. Bigger and bit better than the older one. They mutate, sure, but slowly, and the successor is always cautious for a while. 
and the brute lashes out to clear throats or beat a retreat that nothing would dare get in the way of. This kind of power surge is something I never ran into myself. That's what I was going to ask about next. Do you ever hear of something like it? Nowhere near this bad, but I, ha I had to warn my slayers against overhunting these warped raveners when they reported slaying a queen and stampedes breaking out. That complicates things. We obviously can't just single out the new brute mother and decapitate the invasion. If slaying this tougher queen or empress will cause a bigger stampede and probably spawn an even stronger one, you shouldn't kill her at all. Don't let Cyrus hear that or you won't hear the end of it. What kind of slayer would I be if I didn't know my query? If they are evil or act like beasts by choice or nature, it's my business to know how to deal with them. And business is good. Oh boy. Zart speed, watch out. Avoid Rift. Then another front just opened up. Get ready. Oh boy, guys. Wow. Your guest list here, your standard guest list. Uh, not the box, not going to the box. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. Probably a Dragon Blade. No, it's Dragon Slayer Twilly. Oh man. I was hoping for a Dragon Blade. War rewards, let's see here. Regal, Void Render, uh, Void Slayer, General, Male and Female Faces, and one thousand Regal Void Charge. Okay, I think this is a miscellaneous item, or is this a shield? I can't really tell. But wow, the Regal Void Render looks really good. The face is like, eh. But man, the weapon looks really good. Let's take a look. Uh, Novix, Soft Hydra, Venom, Seth Hydro, Lucky Worm, Shade, Seal. A real Melissa, yep, uh, pretty much most of your standard names here and to get top 25 right now, it's still very early on in the war, it's like 630 wins, okay uh, I expect it to hit about 1000 soon and let's scroll all the way down, 58, alright so uh, these are the rewards for the war and let us go into battle for one battle and let's see how we do okay, you're not fighting void dragons apparently, I thought you were Guess you're facing regular dragons. Plasma dragon. Alright, plasma dragon. Uh, yep, ultra guardian will work. Water or ice? Let's do water. Let's start. Items. Let's, uh, let's summon Polala. And nah, get away, Twilly. We don't need you. <laughs> we don't want you either. Okay, so let's use... What shall we use here? Water, right? Let's do blood contract. Let's do our water spell right here. Teleport booth. And yeah, this guy gives us a bit of backlash as well, 7%, so I uh, gotta watch out for that. 76, not that bad. Let's do that again. Okay, yep, about half his health is gone. That's not too bad. We'll call off the guest for Lala right now. Ooh, and we got some SP for that, for blocking the attack, really nice. <coughs> Excuse me guys. And it looks like almost every other release in AQ is like a war. I don't know why but yeah it seems like we've been having lots of wars and <laughs> it's like war. You have your Mastercraft sets and then you... Okay right now we have the Devourer Saga revamp but yeah it's like almost every other month we get a war in AQ. Uh, not sure how I feel about that. I'm not a warmonger myself, but I'm sure the warmongers uh, enjoy warring, so yeah, guess it's a win. Or well, at least most of the active players are warmongers, I, or I would like to believe so. So I guess that's a good thing that they are having more wars, and of course the rewards are pretty sick as well. Okay, so summon Polala right here. And now the new system is 4 waves per... 4 monsters per wave instead of 2. So they did change this recently, so keep that in mind. Let's do this. Not deep enough, come on. I think you better heal up. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Oh boy, Woo, he died. Okay guys, uh, once again I'm always dying to stupid reasons, let us get some SP and do it the proper way shall we? Right, so of course I'm not trying to, you know, show how is, what is the best way for warring, it's just me showcasing the event right now. And of course the warmongers should know way better than me how to go about fighting all these, but 
I won't really bother, I just want to showcase the event. So, Plasma Dragon, say. Uh, not my favorite monsters to f not my favorite dragons to fight, definitely. You know what, let's let's try Twilly out this time. Okay, uh, we got Undead Dragon. Okay, Undead Dragon is way easier, and this is only level 130. Yeah, no idea why. I hate Plasma Dragons because they hit, they elements seek between energy and fire. So it's really hard for you to defend against both elements. Let's start. Okay, you want to use Light, obviously. Zealot's Wrath. Creation Burst. Oops, forgot to equip Blood Contract, but that's fine. Ooh, okay, Dragon Slayer Twilly heals you. Ah, oh, you can click on him to have him attack. Wow, okay, it's actually quite cool. Earth damage, huh? Oh, it does void damage if uh, it's a dragon. Void touch resiliency, decreased incoming damage due to exposure to the void. Ooh, this is this is one of the new uh, effect system that uh, the staff has been going on about. So, yeah, I think it's really cool that they have this. And next up, what do we have? Empowered void dragon. Ah, this is this is one I really like to face. All right, let's see what he's capable of. Uh, blood contract. Let's do destruction burst. Yeah, that's gonna do quite a number on him. Nice. Wow. Okay, one more burst ought to kill him. 200% damage. I thought it would just all be Void Dragons. Void Dragons are super easy to fight because they have like 200% to everything. You can just nail everything down and be crazy. You know what? I really want to try out. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, Terra Blood Circle, Sword Armor. Let's do uh, Terra Blood Circle. Let's start. Shields, you know what? Let's do Chieftain, Iron Thorn, Blood Contract, Summon Polala. Let's cast Arcane Amp. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt real bad. Terra Rage. Woohoo! Guys, I figured out the way. <laughs> I figured out the way to war. And this is how you war, man. Okay, I wonder if I can do it without the blood contract. Yeah, I guess you still can, though. The damage isn't as high. Okay, probably better to use a blood contract. Man, wait. Why does he keep missing? Hmm. Dude, seriously? Why do I keep missing right now? Yeah, whatever you can do that yep, nice okay so those are your waves and if you're fighting against void dragons that is by far the fastest way for hybrids okay uh, even faster than casting spells assuming you don't miss at all if you're mage then just burst them down with your spells so yeah that's it for this video I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, short little adventure quest uh, update for this week's release and if you have be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel for more such future content till the next time i'm your host korban gaming peace out